No place I'd rather be. I love talking manhood. And manhood, as far as I'm concerned, is just the gospel. But it's the gospel with a manly growl. This is the third year I've been here. It's great to come out and be with all the other guys from the community to see people that I've known, many many of them for many years, but, but to be able to just worship and praise God together. It's such a beautiful place. God planted the idea in our mind, not knowing what it was, and just thought we'd uh, start reaching out to other men, and it just grew from there. There's a core group of five or six men who just had a heart to break down the literal walls of churches and to say, men of Montgomery County, let's get together and see what we can do and, and grow as men. When you start out the morning and you give your whole day to the Lord, there's just a movement that takes place. And the Holy Spirit is very present. You can just walk up to strangers here and just have like deep, heartfelt conversations, you know. It gets you refocused, replugged in, and it's, it's always a blast because the worship here is awesome. They always seem to get relevant speakers that, you know, um, are talking about things that are, that are affecting life today. There is a version of masculinity that will change this world. But to get at it, God has to get to you. Well, I can say from last year's conference to this year's conference, there's been a total uh, new boldness that's taken place in uh, my life for certain, uh, but my family's life as well. And That's the hope, is that men will be men of God, regardless of denomination, and that they'll, uh, they'll take this back into their churches, they'll take it back into their families, that the gospel will be lived, not just proclaimed, but lived throughout the county. This is how it works. You in Christ, Christ in you. And as a result, out of your life comes the glory of God. Triumph. Masculinity unlike this world has ever seen. Oh, I love it.